Hello everyone. My name's Kate Freeman and um, people have been requesting that I tell stories about Lester Levinson since I knew him personally and um, I have a lot of good stories. So this will be number one today. So number one, uh, in let's start at the beginning. In June 1981, I had recently moved to Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, at that time, the office was in Phoenix. And I was working with a woman who was just really a wonderful friend. And she kept telling me I needed to take this course. I had three children. I was divorced. I was uh, doing commission sales. So there was a lot of stress, lots of stress. And um, so one day I came in and I was complaining. The kids did this, the kids did that. I was having a hard time. I needed to make some money. And she said, well, you need to do this course. And I kind of lost it. I said, Sandy, I don't even know how I'll feed my children next week, which wasn't strictly true, but that's how I felt inside. So she said, would you do the course if you had the money? Very good salesperson. And I said, at this point, I would do anything that would help. So she sat down, she wrote out the check, and made the, called the office, made the appointment for me to do the next course, which was in maybe a week or so, it wasn't long. And at that time, the course was two full weekends, it was long. And um, so the second Sunday, um, they had a little graduation for the people who had gone through the basic releasing course. And um, so they're, you know, they're asking us, you know, how was it and so forth. Everybody's excited, new people. There were about maybe 10 of us. And there was a little gentleman over in the corner who hadn't been on the course. And I kind of looked over there and he kind of nodded just gently. And at some point, uh, people were talking, the people who had gone through the course before, and they said, you know, he never comes. He never comes to these. And I didn't know what they were talking about. But that little gentleman over in the corner was Lester. And evidently, he didn't come to the graduations, which I, I had no idea. But he came, he talked to us a bit. He came over and talked to me, um, just one-to-one -one, a little bit after the course was all over, after the graduation was all over. And he was very kind, but also very quiet. He wasn't a take over the room kind of energy. He was a kind of relax back, just let it flow kind of energy. And so we had a nice conversation. And that was my first meeting with Lester. There was a great deal that came off uh, after I spent a lot of time with him. I ended up volunteering in the, at that time it was Sedona Institute office. And, um, Gradually, they hired me, started paying me. And uh, so I worked in the office with Lester almost, well, about five years I worked in the office and um, had a wonderful time. Saw him many, many evenings as well as in the office. Um, groups of us would go out to dinner and uh, I learned a great deal from him. It was really, really wonderful to have that time with him. 
to be able to ask him questions, to be able to um, hear what he said to people and really get a sense of who he was. So um, he was about uh, five, six, five, seven, and uh, just gentle, very gentle. So that's story number one. Lots more to come. I have some really great stories. And each of his stories had a lesson for me. So that first story, um, the thing that he said to us, I think, because this is what he always said, was stay with it. Go all the way. Be free. That's what he always said. So, thanks for coming. I'll see you soon. And uh, come back tomorrow, same time, and we'll have another story. Lots of love. Bye.